This corner near La Cabana restaurant at Belmopan was where 38-year-old Moises Paris was killed after another vehicle slammed into him. Paris was traveling from Bella Vista in a Nissan pickup truck when, as he passed the junction, a Ford 150 pickup truck drove onto the road and was T-boned by Paris. The driver of the Ford survived, as well as Paris's passenger, but the father of four died instantly. Today, his family said that they're hoping for justice. Around 12 o'clock at midnight, um, one of my um, my wife came up to to knock the door, and um, she told him that uh, her brother got an accident, right? And um, so they they went to look for him, and they find out that it was that it was him. So, um, but they, as uh, far as they know, that uh, the, the person that who uh, was involved in the accident, I think he was in the hospital too, but uh, nothing happened to him. So what they are trying to get is, it's like justice, right? Because uh, we, as uh, far as we know, the person that crushed him, he was like, uh, he was drunk. He was driving drunk. So. Um, um, well, we don't have, we don't know uh, what's going to happen. The whole family, it's kind of uh, sad, you know, because these things are not easy for none of us. He was a cool person, you know, and um, it's, it's kind of hard for everybody, you know, because sometimes you don't have the things to... Um, you don't expect things like this. He was a cool person. He he didn't. My uh, brother-in-law. He he was a person that he never get involved in no do no drinking, no smoking, nothing like that. He was a good uh, good person. And um, like I say, we're trying to get justice because um, he left four kids, four kids, and uh, his wife. Um, she's really. Um, she got a, a lot of um, feelings, you know, because she, he left, uh, I think, about a one-and-a-half-year-old boy. He was the, he's the, the youngest boy. And they're one step closer to getting justice since the driver of the pickup has been charged. An investigation was carried out into this report, and Omar Kawich has since been arrested and charged for the crimes of manslaughter by negligence, causing death by careless conduct, driving the Duke and attention. Uh, he uh, was taken to court today. And while it is some consolation, it does little to ease the grief of this family that lost their only son and brother. Courtney Menzies, 7 News.